kind of cam did you go with? I could definitely hear it. It's a comp cam. Yeah. Nitrous comp cam. The speakers in the doors weren't enough. They weren't loud enough. So they pretty much had to take it outside. season amazing i don't know how we pulled this off but we did a show in 30 days literally 30 days and we sold out in 16 days we dropped it august 6th september 6th it's insane so we're here in lakewood new jersey hosting our first car show of our season and it's crazy we sold out we're gonna try to make this happen social distancing uh mask wearing we're gonna stay on top of everybody we're gonna not start the show to things happen but we appreciate my fan being here uh we want to make sure that everybody's having a good time we thank everybody for coming and supporting us. It is crazy, and we're hoping to meet our deadline by 12 o'clock. And when is the next? Uh, October 10th, Tokyo Meet, one of our most popular shows. Sells out every time. Our registration opens September 10th. We'd love to see you there. And where is that gonna be? Atlantic City, drifting, Tokyo Meet, everything, the whole nine yards. We're going hardcore. We're bringing Japan to AC. We're gonna make it happen. So if you've been to Elizabeth, you saw what we did, check it out there, okay? That's how we're going. And we're all just walkie-talkie, you know, craziness. Thank you, Mother Fame. Like always, it's a blessing. Punch it out to. Uh, 422. You punch it out to a 422. 422. You know, respect. And what kind of cam did you go with? I could definitely hear it. It's a comp cam. Yeah. Nitrous comp cam. It's a nitrous, nitrous cam. Specs, yeah. You know what your specs are or no? Not exactly. Okay. But cool. It's, no it's, problem. It's specs it's supposed to be some like a uh, black mamba. I don't know who the guy who that was. But. Got it. my first time seeing this in person guys it's a gt500 front it's a gt right it's a gt with the uh, gt500 uh, GT front. conversion and the gt350 yeah that's dope man that's yeah, cool thank you. this is the front yeah this is the front yeah this is the front yeah this is the front this is the front this is the front this is the front look at how clean this chevy cobalt is it's a Chevy Cobalt SS in this wide body, but the wide body is so clean 
you'd never notice that it's a wide body. Like, if you don't know, you would just think these cars came like that. Jesus, somebody put a lot of money and in, in time into building this thing. Like a lot. All right, y'all, so like I was saying, I'm rocking out with Caesar and Anthony. This is Caesar's whip right here. But uh, Anthony is gonna tell us, he's the spokesperson. He's gonna yeah. tell us what's up and what this is about. Yo, man, I seen this in the Bronx before. What is this? What is this about? The music that just came from pretty much, like this to this extent, it's pretty much from DR, the Dominican Republic. We're, we're big in music over there. So we noticed that the speakers in the doors weren't enough. They weren't loud enough. So they pretty much had to take it outside. And pretty much they compete. There's classes by the levels of bases, let's say 12, uh, 15s, 18s, high volt, uh, 21 inches. You pretty much compete through the sizes. Uh, That's crazy. So let me understand this correctly. Yeah. The music wasn't loud enough for what? What do you mean it wasn't loud enough? I guess it wasn't loud enough. I mean, like for what? I guess to compete. You say to compete? Yeah. yeah. Somebody okay. came. Uh, I guess somebody came up with the doors open. You know how they put yeah. the speakers on the doors. I seen the doors sometimes inside out. Exactly. Like they turn the doors up. Exactly. And then they came with the chettos. They came out and it was louder because it was outside. It's on top of the car. Right. Also, in bad areas, you used to get your music stolen. This chetos, you could just take it out and put it up. Oh, so if you park your car, yeah, you, you don't gotta just, worry about somebody breaking into your car. And you could just your sound. disconnect it and take it home. Ah, so okay, it was okay. way more. It was way better because mu music is expensive. It is. It's a lot of money. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, of people like don't this know setup that. right here, just on the roof. With you see the whole EQ here. Y'all see this? All of this. Yo, a setup like this. What would you say something like this cost? <laughs> Like 10,000, 11,000? 10,000, 11,000 just for this sound alone. Just the music alone, forget the car. The car honestly doesn't really matter yeah, doesn't as really much. Matter. The, 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 what, it, what, what comes out of it is what it, matters, it's right? It's pretty much to transport the music, that's what it is. So y'all could do your own block parties. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Pretty <laughs> you much. could shut down a block, turn it into, and with COVID, yeah. I'm pretty sure y'all was lit this summer. Yeah, because we can take it outside, you know what I mean? We don't have to be inside. That's so, right, that's right. The things I want to explain to you about this radio. Go ahead. The things about this radio is before we used to have the car, we used to have it inside. With this radio now, you can take it outside in front of your car and you can tune the music, fine tune it to where it sounds perfect always. Because if you're tuning it from the inside and the speakers are on top, you're not really hearing the tone. So that's why y'all bought the EQ outside. And we brought we brought it outside. This is called the Medusa. That's what this is called. Okay. So this is pretty much to tune the music outside, make sure everything is perfect. Yo, it's People do things for different reasons. Me, I'm into performing speed, so exactly. I spend my money and people think I'm stupid for the things that I do. Like, exactly. why I go that far? Exactly. I'm pretty sure people look at what you do and they say that's stupid. Why exactly. would you go that far? Exactly. But they don't understand the passion and what at, we do at and the, why we do it. At you, the you end of me? the day, we all got something in common. That's it. Which is cars. That's it. With that's its camera. It. What we do with our cars is just, it's, different. It's, it's up to you. Yeah, exactly. And where y'all boys from? Uh, we're from the Bronx. Okay, y'all y'all original with it then. Thank you. Y'all official, official. Thank you, thank you. Yo, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Where could they uh, Where could they find, like, you guys got Instagram or anything like that? Yeah, my Instagram is uh, at uh, A-N-T underscore C-L-N-I-N-E. There we go. Caesar, what's yours? All right, so you got Caesar underscore Martinez Z-08. There you go. So if you want to see him clash and all that, go there, follow him. Plus, in the Bronx, you know, we know the ladies, uh, they want to see that too, right? Yeah, they want to see that too. <laughs> Yo, man. the crazy part is y'all making them dance out there, right? Yeah, that's a yeah. fact. That's a fact. You get double action, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yo. Thank, thank you, man. You, man. I appreciate y'all. All right, guys. So this one you know as the, the Lexus. Lexus GS, the Bubble Lex, the Jay-Z Lex. This is what you guys know this car as. That's what I know this car as as well. But I'm actually here with the owner to tell us what it actually is. Man, so what made you like import a car and like, what, what, what first of all, what year is it? It's a 1991. It's a 91, so what 91. motor is in here? Uh, two JZ uh, GTE, the twin turbo. The wow. one that comes so, in the TR Super. In 91 in the US, didn't we have the, the one JZ? No, no, we never had the one JZ. The GS300 back in the days, was a regular stock. Already a 2 jz NA. NA. So NA. it was a GE instead of a GT. Exactly. Got it, got exactly. it. Exactly. Okay, cool. So what made you want to import a car like this instead of just buying a regular car? Why? Uh, well, one, I already have an R33, 
uh, which is already hooked up. Oh, let's talk about it. Come on. Yeah. You got an R33. Yeah. So you import all these cars. I don't import it, but I buy them. <laughs> buy them imported. Yeah. So both cars are Jack JDM cars built in Japan and shipped over to the US? Exactly. Okay. And exactly. this is your R33? Yep. Wow. This is my R33. As well. This is my R33. Tell us, about, tell us about the R33. Built, what is it? Built from bottom to end is a, a RB25 engine. It's stroked out to a 2.8, so it's actually an RB28. So it's a. So what type of power do these cars make? Um, the engine is capable for at least 900 to 1,000 horsepower. And what are you running? But at? right now I'm at uh, 18 pounds of boost, so I'm around 5, 520. That's crazy. So yeah. let me understand this, man. These cars. People don't know, they never came to the US. No. Right? No. But this was the original GTR. You know what I mean? So it has all the like the computer technology that's in the screens and all of that. Well, not this one per se. That's the that's the R34 with the computer the R34, screens. Yeah, okay, this exactly. Is the R33. This is the R33. So they never had the computer uh on the on the dashboard itself or but it was still or, very but, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Drive, right? It's uh no, this is actually a real wheel drive with all wheel steering. Wow, all-wheel steering back in what year is this? Ni this is a 93. Wow. That I'm is sorry, 95, 95. This one is a 95. This is a 95. All right, man, yep. well, we're going to film it, check it out. Uh, where can yeah, they man. find more pictures of this car and all that? Uh, they could follow Tutomo Racing, at Tutomo Racing, or they could follow at KJ for you and me. That's it, brother. Thank yeah. you very much. Mod. appreciate it. You Definitely. Like it, like it. Watch it. YouTube. Mods of fame. Yo, it got crazy at that Rick's car show, man. Rick's Magazine put some crazy huge events and unfortunately for me man i'm still like a little leery with coronavirus so i'm not trying to be around huge crowds like that i got there nice and early during the setup so that this way you know so i'm, I'm bouncing for a little bit i'm gonna go get something to eat chill and i'll probably go back later just to film like the award ceremony of who wins what and what classes but i wanted to talk to y'all real quick about why I chose to film the types of cars that I chose is because I want to show like diversity on the channel, man. There's so many people that's into different types of things with cars. For an example, the sound clash and stuff. I don't understand it. It's not my thing. I don't really like loud music. Nine times out of 10, if I'm driving one of my Hemis, whether it's the Durango or whether it's the, the, the Hellcats, I don't even have the radio on. Like I don't listen to it because I'm too busy listening to the engine and the exhaust. So that's just me, but I'm different, right? However, that doesn't make me, you know, what I'm doing right and what they doing wrong. So I just wanted to feature it. And plus I wanted to understand it myself. Where does that come from? You know, putting speakers on top of the car. Like I understand that sound clash has been going on for a long time. For those of you that don't know, sound clash means a competition of whose music sounds the best. It's based, they really have like full out competitions with awards and everything of whose music sounds the best, the most bass, the most clarity, the loudest. Like they have all those classes and stuff like that. I've never been into it, but it's always been around. So, but taking it to the next level where you got speakers outside the car, that's even crazier. Guys, another thing I want to thank y'all for is the continued support with buying a merch. Right now I'm wearing the Mod to Fame Black Edition is what I've been wearing, meaning black letter, black shirt, all black everything, which I really enjoy this shirt. I really appreciate y'all, man. Y'all been really supporting and picking that up and getting that merch, man. And also, I realized that my prices may be a little bit too cheap looking at the pricing of everything and looking at what everybody else sells for. And the fact that there's not much markup at all. Like, we really take care of y'all. So therefore, go get it now while before you know pricing increases and stuff like that because as production increases we're gonna probably have to increase pricing because we're gonna probably have to get somebody to fulfill all these orders i'm gonna probably have to hire somebody because me nor the team that's doing other jobs can do that too it's just too much but keep visiting modfame.com keep checking out the different things that we add we add new merch like every week so check that out and Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Much appreciated. It's your boy Stephanie from Mod to Fiend. And here in this Dodge Durango RT, we out, we out.